everybody. Welcome to my channel, my YouTube channel, and the handicapped traveler. Some of the things you'll see us doing is going to parks, museums, zoos, possibly some flea markets, just going on some adventures together. And you will find out from a handicapped person's perspective how easy or hard it is at the place we are. Usually I'll have the rollator, also known as a four-wheeled walker. A lot of times I'll have my gate belt on in case my wife has to grab me. Sometimes I'll just use a standard cane, and other times I will be in a wheelchair, like when we go to zoos, because there's no way I can get around a whole zoo without being in a wheelchair. So I look forward to going on some adventures with you all. I hope you enjoy it going with me. And if you do, make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe so you know when I will be doing another video. Thank you very much and let's go on our adventure. Okay, folks. Today we are at Arcola Creek Estuary in Madison, Ohio. And we have some nice blazing star flowers right up at the sign. And they got some cool flowers at the entrance of the from the road. It's off the dock road in Madison. And the wooden spot up there is hiding some porta potties, which is nice that it is hidden. This is a little park. We're coming up, well, I sh guess I should say estuary, not park, but I call it a park. They're coming up to the map. I have some people here coming also. There's a uh, So now we're coming up to the little kiosk, which it says, Welcome to Arcola Creek. And it has the map of Arcola Creek here. As you can see, it's a small area. And then the map of Lake County and some other parks, which we very well might get to. And of course, there are rules and regulations. One of the neat things I like about this park is it has a life jacket loaner station. So now I, during the pandemic, they disappeared, but they're back now. But I do suggest that maybe uh, sanitize them. Now we're on the stone path and we're coming up to another new addition this year to the park where they tell you about the boom town of Ellensburg which I guess is what this area was originally called I will get up and if you want to read about it you can pause it and read And then also, they have the bog industry sign here now, which tells about the bog iron that was taken out of the uh, this area. I found it interesting, so I'm not going to read everything, because then the would be such a long video that you all would fall asleep on it. We can't have that because we're here for fun. Maybe you can hear the birds in the background that uh, are chirping away. 
Now we have a little picnic area with the grill and it provides some shade. The tree provides some shade. Not too much and it does get hot and sunny here which this video was done over a few times and a few days. So the second half of this you'll see how sunny it was at one time. I'm coming up on a uh, little wooden path or overlook of the estuary and the kind of swampy at this area, the creek. But it provides for a lot of birding. During the spring and fall it is a major area for the uh, migrating birds. We uh, get a variety. Today is July 27th, so there's not going to be too many birds here today. Just the ones that are always here that you can hear, but I'm not sure we'll get to see any of them. I'm not really seeing any. All that I all I see is what you're seeing is the swamp weed and lily pads. I don't even hear the bullfrogs today. A lot of times you hear bullfrogs. And the other day, um, I got some pictures of eagles flying over. We have had blue herons, and uh, as I said, the eagles you'll get to see. There is, I think, possibly a blue heron way out there. Uh, for some reason, my zoom feature is not working. But it looks like a heron to me. It's well hidden, though, so I know I'm not going to be able to get that for you. But, and then we have uh, all kinds of flora. We have a sumac here. And then provides wonderful areas for the birds and there's a I think there's a yellow warbler down there which again he's hidden in the cat of nine tails I'm not sure if that's the technical name for it but that's what I've always called them and then they have a little information here the secrets of the estuary and some pictures of a flora that you might find, and birds, and the Fowler's Toad. As I said, I've heard the frogs and the toads. I've never been able to see them because they get so well hidden. Northern Poison Ivy. That's probably a good, good thing to be aware of. There it is. There's a picture of it. I don't know if I've ever seen it or not. And, uh, did you know? And as this says, where the creek meets the lake, which is what an estuary is. And here's, again, some information. the estuary and as I said it's a really pretty spot lots of flora which we'll see more of that I got the other day and it's uh, as I said it's a really pretty park we have to be careful bringing our dog here though because um, she goes on the beach, she'll always find old fish bones that have washed up from Lake Erie. And then we get to the hill, which I need to concentrate on getting down, which I did last week and then the video after that 
was nice. I'm redoing the first part of it. So I'm going to end here and see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back. Um, not sure if I did this right. I guess I'll find out later, huh? Here we have some Queen's Anne lace. I remember when I was a kid, I used to call those the umbrella flower. As we'd walk, I'd pick it and walk around like it was an umbrella. Don't know if any of the other of you out there did that kind of thing, but let me know if when you were a kid you did those something fun like that. Now we have various plants and trees. As I said earlier, the birds are pretty well hidden today. I did get to see that eagle, but unfortunately I don't think you saw it on the video. And I apologize. I'll be learning more. And we got a goldfinch here. I don't know if it'll let me get close enough for you all to see. It's in the pine tree. And as soon as I get close to it, it hops away. Again, well hidden. I can see it, but it hops as soon as I get close to it. And they're so well hidden. But goldfinches are pretty populous in this park. And as you can see, it's a little rocky, and we had that hill that, as I said, I had to concentrate on getting down. If you're in a wheelchair, you'd, uh, your person will need some muscles to help get you down there. Because with my rollator, I can use the brakes, but on a wheelchair, you can't pretty really use the brakes, or it just comes to a complete stop. Now, I'm, oh, here, let's see, uh, can't really get them. The eagle's flying over the lake, and it's Lake Erie that we're at. I'm not sure if I mentioned that or not. And then we, uh, we're coming up to the beach, which you can swim at your own risk. And with Lake Erie, you should make sure that there's no uh, warnings about undertow. And also, I'll show something else that you have to watch out for, is that there's toxins. Spilled paint, surface scum. So you want to look at the water. And it's pretty much, if it's nice and blue, it's okay to swim in. If it's looking mucky and green, it's not too smart to be on there. Now here, here is the beach. I'm hitting sand now, and I'll get a, another picture of the beach where you can see it a little better, better angle. But you can see the trail going down to where the creek actually meets the lake. And it's a good fishing spot. My wife and eldest son and grandkids have gone fishing there and they really enjoyed it. Now I'm getting back on the stone path. And there's a picnic area that they added. Uh, maybe three years ago it used to be all woods and they took the woods out and in some ways it's nice in other ways I'm sorry to see the trees go but it's a night nice, it's open and sunny so you can see see various picnic benches socially distanced apart And now I am going to go up to the lake. And it really looks like the lake is splashing up on the ro on the uh, rocks here. It's, the lake can get really 
choppy sometimes. And then uh, I love it. I think it's great. Uh, sometimes I go slow, people. I say that I have three speeds. Slow, slower, and slowest. But this way you also get a nice view of what's going on out on the lake. Oh boy. And here is the beach from a better angle where trees aren't blocking it. It's a rather rocky beach, which I can't go on. And especially since today I'm by myself, I wouldn't even attempt to go down there. Because I have a tendency to fall, and that means an emergency room trip. Don't like doing that. I want to see if you can, if the waves will do it, come up on us now. It's starting to slow down now that I got up to the lake. But it's still kind of choppy. Hopefully you can hear it. Way, you can't see it, but way up that way is Canada. Madison's not far from Cleveland. Uh, an hour, give or take a few minutes. Now we're headed to another area of the park. You can see some of the purple clover. And more Queensland lace. I'm not sure what these... I'm getting some of the mist from the lake. Definitely. Hopefully this doesn't get on the camera. I'm not sure what this plant is. It's kind of bushy. Now you can really see and hear the water. The lake. Yeah, now it's flashing up against there. Hopefully you saw that. Have a private boat launch there. It's starting to get a little hard for me to get around here. I apologize for that. But I'm still having fun. As I said, I love love the lake, love the water. Ooh. Ah, come back. I saw the shadow of the eagle, and by the time he was overhead, I couldn't get the camera up in time. I have a feeling we're not going to get to see the eagle. But trust me, he's here. So, it might be a, if you like seeing the eagles in the wild, Come on down here. Would be a good stop. This actually is another entrance, but it's kind of tricky to get to from the parking lot. So I always come this way to get to this little area. We, uh, It's a little shaded area with the picnic bench there, and you can sit and look out at the lake. It also goes 
right up to the residences where the picket fence is. Now, as you can see, the parking lot is way up there. And it's just that narrow land with a ditch right there. So I never go that way to... Uh, See it, and on the picnic bench, there's a sign here: "No farms, no food." I agree there. So my wife has quite the garden, and so we also have flowers to attract the birds. That's the sky, and down here is the lake again. So again, I want to thank you for coming on this little adventure. I'm trying to get the eagle for you again. Uh, I don't think I'm picking him up, and then again. But anyhow, I want to thank you for coming on this little adventure for me. I hope to get out more. Uh, going to try and get more videos done in the summer here and the fall. And as the winter comes, I'll probably be having less and less. A lot of it will depend on how I'm feeling, whether I can get out or not. So... I want to thank you, and I also want to give a shout out to another YouTube channel called Shadow Street. I'll find a link to her videos. She does stuff a lot different than the videos you'll see me doing. It, she has humorous videos, and uh, she's also my granddaughter, so I love her a lot. And, would love if you supported her. And hopefully this turns out well and I can actually post it. Thank you all. Have a great day. And remember, if you are handicapped and have to use a rollator, wheelchair, cane, gate belts, whatever, it's making you handicapable so you can get out and enjoy what it is that you enjoy, whether it's like me going in parks and looking at birds and flowers and the zoos and museums, which you'll see more in the winter probably. They do love history. And who knows, we might do a flea market or two. Thank you so much. Have a great day.